What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad89 here bringing another video today and for today's video as you can see by the title we're going to be talking about John Carpenter's Halloween, one of the greatest slasher films of all time, talking about the boy, the man, the shape himself, Michael Myers. Oh, like I said, this first film is a, a iconic and a very influential slasher horror film for sure and like I said, influenced many films for years and years after that and started one of the biggest horror franchises that we know to date. And of course, we're doing this film in preparation for Halloween Kills, which comes out in a few weeks, I believe like October 15th. It's like the second or third week of October, Halloween Kills comes out, and that's the long-awaited sequel for Halloween 2018. So let's get down to this. Of course, we're going to be talking spoilers. So if you haven't seen this film, like, what are you doing watching this? Go run out and watch this movie and then come back and get to this video so we can talk about it. Let's get into this. Roll it. So John Carpenter's Halloween is easily in my top 10 favorite horror films of all time. It's such an amazing film. Like everything is in this film formula wise that you want for a horror slasher film. It has an iconic villain, some really good scream queens in the film, and some really good mature actors as well to really like, you know, throw in that spice of that mature, like to bring in that gravity and the gravitas you want in certain scenes for the drama. And of course, at the helm of all of it, we have John Carpenter paired with Deborah Hill, one of the best pairings ever that came up with like this film. Oh, like I said, it's just a dream, like, you know, magic, like that perfect cupcake that you, like you baked it one day, you know, and it came out and it was like that perfect cupcake and there was no other cupcake like it. That's how this film kind of was. And I know that's a weird reference to compare the Halloween film, the great John Carpenter's Halloween to a cupcake. But like I said, this film is like in essence perfect like that. And it's so little like in everything in it. It's not like, you know, this big budget film. It's just like some small budget film. They, you know, got it done in a very short period of time. And it's like just came out to be like the most influential slasher of all times, I think. Like there's other great ones out there. Of course, Black Christmas, Friday the 13th, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. There's a lot of great ones. But this one has like a lot of stuff going for it, like especially the score, even done by John Carpenter himself. The score is easily one of the greatest horror like scores or themes that we've ever had ever. And the character Michael Myers himself is so iconic, you know what I mean? The shape, the boogeyman, he's everything you fear. And that's what's great about this character is he doesn't have like a personality or like a voice or something to like really, you know, like steal a scene. It's all about just the way he moves. It's about the presence. It's about people people telling the story of Michael Myers and it's like you can really tell like the characters in it played by PJ Souls, Jamie Lee Curtis, Donald Pleasance, all the characters in this film, they really bring the weight to that Michael Myers story and that's what elevates it so much. So when you see him on screen like you really feel the presence of Michael Myers. Add to that, John Carpenter finds a way to not have like the goriest horror movie at all. Like there's very little blood in this film, but the moments in this film are tense. They're scary. They keep you on edge and it's mainly with the score, the theme, the music. It sets the tone, then the actors and also the camera work, the long takes, you know, the shots, like all the cinematography, all that stuff assists in building that atmosphere. And as I said, this is a one of a kind film. Like I said, easily, I think the best of the Halloween franchise that we've gotten so far. I'm so excited for Halloween Kills. Like I said, I'm, I'm down eager to watch this film because I had a blast with Halloween 2018. That's probably like I would have to, like I said, after we review all of them, that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks. I'm going to be going through all the Halloween films, going up to Halloween Kills, and then I'm going to rank them all. But I think, like, Halloween 2018, I think, is in my top five out of the Halloween films so far. It was pretty good. I enjoyed that one, so I'm very eager to watch this sequel for sure. And as everybody knows, you know, I am a huge Friday the 13th fan. Jason Voorhees is my boy, but you cannot ignore how strong 
this first film was for Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween, kicking off the franchise and like what he started. Oh man, like it was just a really brilliant character. And as we know, all know, you know, Michael Myers, he's such an iconic character throughout all kinds of like stories, like movies, like it's been carried on for generations, for generations. And that's what I really love about these horror films as, <clears throat> you know, it goes on, you know, parents pass on their love of horror films to their children then to their grandchildren like it just really is this cool thing to share with your family and these characters become iconic just like characters from like star wars or like disney or marvel or anything like that these horror icons are really important creative characters that i love because they do a lot of things and like you know explore a lot of aspects of human stuff in horror movies with these characters that you don't necessarily get to do with some of those other characters that are in like a lot of the pg or pg-13 films so of course halloween like i said this first film john carpenter you know slam dunk you know knocked it out of the park for sure thanks for sticking around with me all. i hope you enjoyed this little like review and chatting about you know john carpenter's halloween as i said i thoroughly love this film in the comments section let me know what you think of this film do you have a ranking for the halloween film so far you know how do you feel about this film and are you excited for halloween kills are you going to be checking it out in theaters and or, or on streaming service because i heard it's going to peacock so it's either going to be in theaters you can check it out or you're going to be able to watch it on peacock so that's pretty cool too so like i said thanks for sticking around with me all and if you are new to the channel don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.